I was about to say that I kind of regret moving back to America. I miss England! All the food in America looks and feels and tastes fake. It gives me anxiety. I want to push myself. Three month plan on how to get my shit together. Can you tell I'm still half asleep? That is amazing. I just got done at my class saying I have problems. These were $18.99. Oh. How to retrain your body after diet culture. She's beautiful healthy and organic as it gets. I am out of breath. Good morning, guys. I just took my trash out and it was actually disgusting. Should have taken it out last week. I didn't. But today's, I think it's Wednesday actually today. I was in Vegas for the weekend, but I actually got back on Monday and then yesterday was just like a literally did nothing day, which it's just so far been a pretty unproductive week. I feel like I'm already halfway through. It's Wednesday today and not much has been done. So we're going to flip that around. I don't need to go and tell myself that I should just wait till next Monday to get my life back on track. It doesn't matter if it's a Wednesday. I just got to start right now. So I've been needing to kind of clean my apartment. I have to wash this up. Thank goodness there's not too many dishes to deal with. I put a trash bag back. Fuck, did I leave? I think I left laundry. Slay. I left my damp laundry in here. Hopefully it doesn't smell because I left it in there for a few days. Mmm, that smells. Okay, great. I'm having to do like a light wash again. I'm running low on detergent. I love using lavender detergent. Look at me guys, I'm such an adult. Wait, is this stuff dry? Uh, it could go a little bit more. And then for this, I'll just do light and I'll do not deep prints. There we go. Then I'm gonna do this when I come back home later, but I also have to put away all my clothes. Also, my sheet is literally not on my bed because this is my problem is I'll get some sort of burst of motivation and I'll be like, oh, I'll go clean my sheets. I have a huge bed too. My biggest pet peeve with everything is putting sheets on my bed. I would rather clean a toilet than put sheets on my bed. It's such a workout, I can't do it. So, so I've honestly just been chilling and sleeping with no sheets on my bed for like a few weeks. I took all my clothes out of my suitcase so I'm forced to unpack it. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll do that when I get back home. I wanna go grocery shopping and maybe get in a workout. I don't know, we'll see how the day goes. Mm. My flowers are dying. I'm gonna need some more. Probably shouldn't have just started my laundry because I wanted to talk to you guys and now it's so loud and annoying that I can't. Let's just go run my errands and then I'll come back and talk to you guys once my laundry machine is quietened down. Let's go ladies. Actually first, let's quickly take my vitamins. So this isn't sponsored, but I went to a like health event a few weeks ago. I went with my best friend, Anna. It was so much fun. I had an IV done. They had workouts. They were giving out a bunch of vitamins and skincare and I was just like shoving that shit in my bag. I got this magnesium, great for muscle recovery, sleep. The only thing is these pills are huge and I used to not be able to take big pills. If you can't take big pills, that's the only problem. Skin and digestion, take like one of these. Detox and de-blow, I'm just gonna do one. But I do find when I take these, I have to drink a ton of water because CMI, they make my pee so yellow. Probiotics. This is one. I'll probably take another probiotic later. All right, let's go, ladies. Fuck, my camera's gonna die. Just realized my camera battery's gonna die. So I'm gonna leave it behind to charge, but I guess when I'm out and about, I'll vlog on my phone. I'm sorry. It's so loud. We used to get my creation. I actually like that. This is good. And it has 92 essential minerals. It has a bunch of greens. Sly. It is a little bit cloudy in, in LA right now, which I don't like. Let's go. Yeah, at Gelson's. Guys, look, they have these little crackers. Two for seven. So I'm getting, I'm trying the rosemary olive oil and the classic olive oil. Guys, they're made in Italy. Product of Italy. I think I'm also gonna get this pasta because this pasta is also made in Italy. I'm getting the fusilli. This is eight dollars. Eight dollars. They're actually doing two for seven. So I got this. And look, pesto. 
So I just got back from the grocery store. My laundry machine is finally quiet. I'm gonna give you guys a haul. I'm very excited. Quickly wanted to address something. I don't have anything I like specifically want to say right now about this topic, but um, I've been getting mixed comments about me talking openly about my eating issues and just talking about food, things like that in general. On one hand, I'll get a comment being like, stop talking about it all the time. Like I don't always, I don't want to hear about it. But then on the other hand, I'll get a bunch of DMs from people saying, thank you so much for talking about it and being so open and honest it really helps me and i'm going through the same thing da, 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 da. it's nice here i'm not alone i'm like constantly in between of just like getting these different feedback of some people just being like shut up we don't want to hear about it and some people that like that i talk about it at the end of the day it's my channel i'm going to talk about what i want to but i think the best Thing i can do moving forwards is just give you guys a little heads up maybe when i'm editing put on the screen like uh if you don't care about this skip to this part or trigger warning if you don't want to watch this skip to this part i think that's just like the best way to go about this you know if i do feel the need to talk about something because at the end of the day i do use my channel as a diary most of the time and this channel is my life and i'm sorry i've been talking about it so much but it has been something that's played a huge role in my life at the moment just wanted to acknowledge it so you guys don't think i'm like ignoring you i do read the comments and read my dms so yeah anyway on to my little haul of what i got oh i'm so excited pretty much almost everything i got honestly is not from the u.s eh? is it bad to say that i kind of regret moving back to america I miss England so freaking much. I think I really just took it for granted. No, I do. I love LA and I love being here and it is a lot of fun, but the food is really starting to bother me. It's bad enough I have an eating disorder. I'm not kidding. Even the last time I lived here, I gained a lot of weight just because of the food. It's so exhausting, constantly having to worry about everything you eat. Anyway, first thing I got, this is not sadly imported from anywhere. This is a product of the US, but it's organic and free range. I got rotisserie chicken i love getting these because honestly they are just so yum they smell so good and it's such good protein i haven't had lunch yet so oh and there's only two ingredients chicken and salt literally that's it oh speaking about salt i cannot wait to show you guys this new bougie is 13 dollars salt that i bought i can't wait to okay with this beautiful chicken <laughs> this might just be the best rotisserie chicken Wow. Okay, hold on. Let me get my tripod because I don't like the lighting. Okay, time for my grocery haul. So obviously I got the chicken. I'll start off with what I got yesterday. I got Nutella. Look, this may not look like the healthiest grocery haul. The point wasn't like vegetables and stuff, which I actually still need to go grocery shopping. There's a lot of stuff I'm missing. I need to get butter, fruit, veggies. This is more just like I miss eating foods that aren't from the US. Although I think this actually was. Oh no, this was made in Mexico. So, Nutella. Then I got these, I've already had some. These brioche butter croissants, and these were made in France. Yeah, from Pasquia. I was thinking these two together, or this with some butter and jam. Then I also got these, which were made in France. Chocolate hazelnut French crepes. I used to eat these growing up, and I was obsessed. Oh, and then the last thing, this was made in the US, but I'm so excited to try this. It's this yuzu fruit spread, like a yuzu jam, and I'm obsessed with anything yuzu, so. And then I almost forgot because these are in the fridge. This mini burrata cheese pot. And then I also got these mini soft ripened cheese. I got these two bruschettini, bruschettini. Uh, snack size Italian bruschetta toast. I got the classic olive oil flavor and the rosemary olive oil flavor. I think these are gonna be really fun to eat with the cheeses. They were doing like two for seven for these. Uh, I'm thinking with this, I'm gonna do like a pesto pasta. And with this, I wanna do like a creamy salmon pasta. I got these that were made in France. And I had to get some British tea. This is obviously made in England. I got pesto made in Italy. The same brand as this. I got a raspberry jam. This is made in France. It's got no cane sugars or corn syrup. And I got some prosciutto imported from Italy. I actually love this prosciutto. Ah! Got English double cream, obviously made in England. I love clotted cream, honestly, a little more. I thought this would be better for my recipes because I'm probably gonna add this to the creamy salmon pasta I wanna make. I wanna make my own coffee creamer. I got this fancy ass salt that was $13. Focus for this. Flaky salt from France. Oh, not as like flaky as I wanted, but she looks stunning actually. Mmm, I like that. Look what I'm gonna do. Got my chicken, salt. Let's go. 
Maybe it's placebo. Maybe I'm just trying to convince myself because I just spent $13. But this is like the best salt. I just got this chicken bouillon made in Mexico. Uh, this is just necessary for my mom's casserole that I want to try and make. And then I just got these raspberries because although I told myself today won't be like a fruit and veg shop, these just looked too good not to pick up. Like look how big and juicy those are. And they're organic. And no, I don't wash my fruit and veg, which might be gross, but... I watched this girl's TikTok earlier and she was talking about how she's in Paris. She was eating the strawberries and the strawberries would go bad like after a day or two. Whereas she can leave her organic strawberries in the fridge and come back like a week or two weeks later and they'll be like fine. And that's really like, it's scary because that's how it is. Like over here, even things that say organic still feels fake. This is my problem with American food. When I tell people I hate the food in America, they're like, oh, what do you mean? Like you love going out to restaurants all the time. Correct. It's completely different going to a restaurant and getting food where they prepare it nice and make it look all fancy versus when you just walk into a normal grocery store and you see all the food laid out. Like for some reason, all the food in America when you walk into a grocery store, just it looks and feels and tastes fake. Like that's the best way I can describe it is it all just feels like fake food. So the quality of the food is so much better in England and Europe. I guess this is my new thing, eating foods imported from other places. I don't know what to do about fruit and veg because obviously it's like, I don't really find food, fruit and veg imported from other places over here, but yeah, I guess I just have to keep buying as much organic fruit and veggies as I can, raw milk, organic dairy, organic meat, and then for the rest, try and get it all imported. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna go put this away. So I just ate a bunch of the chicken and I also finished up those some mango in here and some strawberries and pineapple. So that was my lunch, some fruit and chicken. And for dessert, I'm having, I just really miss Nutella. So I wanted to try some. I haven't had Nutella in honestly what feels like years. No, I think I've had like a Nutella croissant before, but I think that was like a year ago. I don't know. Anyway, got one of my croissants. Also want to try the new raspberry jam that I got. Like, I guess I'll just dip it. Oh my god. I think I forgot how good Nutella really is. Let's get a big chunk. Oh, look at that! Mmm. And I'm trying some of the jam. Spread that along. Oh, this is the best jam I've ever had in my life. And I'm not saying that lightly. Like, go to the grocery store, go find this jam. This is the best jam I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, so. I have just been meal prepping for the past couple hours and I'm super full because although I haven't eaten it, like I always, whenever I'm cooking, I always like take nibbles of things. I got a test if it tastes good. I finished shredding all the chicken from the rotisserie chicken. Okay, here's my unfinished pesto chicken pasta. I wanna go out and buy cherry tomatoes and add that. I'm like full, I don't know why I'm eating this. This is the salmon pea pasta that I made. Good evening, guys. I just got back from the gym. I just did about half an hour on the treadmill, did some stretching, just a super light workout because this has been a pretty unmotivating month for me. Like it wasn't all that bad, but it definitely wasn't on my A game with my workouts, my food, getting shit done in general. Actually, no, I'll give it to myself. I feel like I did pretty well with my goal of getting videos up. But yeah, I've just been a little bit down lately with food feeling like there's just so much more I could be doing. And I don't know if you guys have ever gotten that anxiety before where like you expect so highly from yourself and you want obviously to give life your best. And when you know you're not at your true potential and not doing everything that you know you really can do, like it gives me anxiety. I know exactly what I'm capable of and I wanna push myself. I don't wanna just be half assing my life and my capabilities. Anyway, so that's kind of how I've been feeling the past month that I have been half-assing it a little. Today is the 31st of May. So obviously tomorrow is the 1st of June. And I'm thinking, you know, a new month. I was thinking I've been trying to come up with a little three month plan for June, July, and August. I've been like writing some of this stuff down, thinking of signing up for the Hot Pilates one month deal. If you buy just the one month pass, it's $400. But if you commit to buying three months of the one month pass, then it's $300 per month. I think I'm gonna do that because although I know it's fucking expensive, 
expensive. It is so expensive. Those workouts motivate me like no other. Those workouts are the best workouts I've done. It's 45 minutes of such a good class. You work out in like a hot sauna and it really truly is like the best workout for me. I always leave feeling amazing. And also kind of because it's so expensive, it really does make me go. The vibes in there are incredible. But right now, I'm just gonna come up with my little three month plan on how to get my shit together. Cause I just really need to get my shit together. And you know, when I've always had a plan, I've always slayed. I've always killed it whenever I've had a plan. I only do mediocre when I don't like have a set plan for myself, but I guess I'll bring you guys along my journey of getting my shit together. I'm very excited. Okay, I might make myself a cup of tea and go to bed. Which new tea shall I make myself? Serenity. I feel like this would be nice for before bed. Also, I'm literally not kidding, but for dinner, I ate two more of those mini croissants with, with Nutella and jam. That was my dinner. Little Tiffany cup. Like oh, I also want to open up my package before I go to bed that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. Haven't had a package from them in so long. I always get beyond excited when I see a Charlotte Tilbury package because who wouldn't? She sent me so much. Magic body cream, never tried. Glow toner. Oh my God, I've been wanting to try one of the Matte Beauty blush ones. Pillow Talk Pink Pop, I'm so excited. Yay, and I got the Pillow Talk lip liner. Oh, the Pillow Talk lip and cheek glow. Guys, I am literally spoiled right now. And then the Pillow Talk lipstick, the Pillow Talk eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna go post about this on my story to make my friends jealous. <laughs> Just set it up, took my cute video, and then my tea has been Steeping. Oh, it's hot. I know my kitchen is still messy and mom don't watch this part Literally just scooting all my clothes to the side whilst I sleep, but tomorrow I'm gonna tidy everything. I love you guys I'll See you guys in the morning. Can you tell I'm still half asleep? Good morning Lemon juice and ginger Good morning guys today is the first of the month. I have a hot pilates class very soon. I'm excited Let's get my life back on track Starting with my hot lemon apple cider vinegar ginger water and time to journal. Okay, I look like a sweaty mess, but hot pilates absolutely just kicked my butt. I haven't done it in a month and I always forget how like hot it is. I'm walking over to Equinox now just to get in some steps on the treadmill and then yeah, that's it Probably not gonna vlog me on the treadmill. Maybe a little clip of my phone, but I get really awkward in that I just finished at Equinox. I just did like 15, 20 minutes of bicycle. I haven't used the bicycle in honestly what feels like a year. I never used the bike anymore, but honestly it was really chill because I only went on it because all the treadmills were used up. I burned similar calories and it feels like less work. My Uber is almost here. Usually I would just walk home from it, but I'm going to the grocery store. I'm gonna go to Bristol Farm. Mmm, delish. Okay, I'm gonna try some of my breakfast with these like Italian bread crisp things. Exciting. Okay. Some of my egg, a little prosciutto. That is amazing. So guys, I have a casting. So I just got ready, putting on my shoes. Let me call my Uber. All right, let's go to my casting. Honestly, I'm feeling really good so far about today and you know the next three months that I've got planned out Bought the hot pilates contract which means obligated to go for the next three months I had a really delicious yummy breakfast. I'm feeling good. So guys, I just got done at my casting I'm just waiting in the lobby for my uber to come pick me up. I'm gonna go to Air One. I know I've done so much grocery shopping the past few days. I'm at Air One grocery shopping I have problems Nobody let me buy more groceries or more food for at least a month Even though I definitely will be back at the grocery store within a few days because I have problems So I just spent $20 on strawberries Well, $18.99 However, I have my reason. Is it a good reason? Maybe not, but I have my reason There are plenty of other organic strawberries 
that I've seen for like maybe $8.99 or something. These were $18.99. They smell incredible. Like even in the bag as I was walking in, you can smell them. They look absolutely stunning. Don't come at me. I know that like I should probably wash these, but I don't care. And I just thought, because I bought the British cream and I just think for dessert, a cream and strawberries. Ah! Okay, let's try. I could cry, it's so good. As I've said before, in America, I feel like all the food just like tastes fake. I think the main reason why I'm kind of justifying it in my head right now is because these remind me so much of like British strawberries, the way they taste, the way you can smell them. Like, are they worth $18.99? If you're buying them for a fun, like occasional thing to try, yes. Like if I was rich, I would spend my money on it. I'm the type of person that just always values spending my money on good quality food because health is wealth and I'd rather pay up now than paying later with medical bills and health problems. So good. Just made my chicken salad. Oh, it's the best. It really is. This is my favorite thing. But I also ate a few bites of the pastas I made yesterday and I was craving something like sweet but also I wanted a cozy drink. Made myself a classic English cup of tea and I'm being extra British. Dipping in some digestive biscuits. I have the regular and the chocolate. I prefer dipping the regular ones though and like just eating the chocolate ones plain. Mm, I love when they get like soggy. I hate that word but... Chocolate. Ha! Huh. So it is a few hours later. I don't like this lighting. Let's go over here. And I've just been cleaning and tidying up my entire apartment and I feel much better. Sly. Yeah, I've just been cleaning a bunch whilst watching Intuitive Eating by Meg. I love her TikToks, but I just discovered she has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, it's called it's called Diets Are Fattening, and it basically just talks all about how to retrain your body after diet culture, like how to get out of the diet mindset. And honestly, I love her videos. It really helps. Yeah, go check her out if your mind has been screwed up from diets too, and you want to go back to just being happy and normal and not stressed about food. She's beautiful. So I definitely got some strawberry juice on a white t-shirt. Just did my skincare. Oh wait, actually I haven't done moisturizer. I just did serum. Listening to Taylor Swift. Like heels midnight recovery treatment. Love this. Turn that off before I get copyrighted. Yeah, day one complete. I feel great. Such a success. Honestly, such a great start to my month. I feel so accomplished. I got my journaling done. I went to my hot pilates. Meal prepped my favorite chicken salad. Happy with what I ate. It wasn't restrictive. I satisfied every craving I had. I, I got a casting done. I forgot about that. I cleaned my kitchen, which I desperately needed to do. And I put away the fat pile of clothes that I had on my bed that was not looking so great. So honestly, like such a success. I feel so good right now. Yeah, I think that's gonna be everything for this vlog. I know it's not like, it's only really over the course of yesterday and today, but I thought I'd give you another little glimpse in my life. Me trying to get my shit together, like I say in every video. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to bed. Turn my light out. Always lock my bedroom door. I get scared. You guys want to know something that I think as a long-term subscriber may find funny? Tonight, randomly, just started watching a bunch of Grace and Grace's Paris vlogs. I'm obsessed. They look like they're living their best lives. Much jealous. I don't know. I think it's because I'm having this obsession with Europe at the moment. It's, I, grass is always green on the other side. When I lived in England, I was like, I want to get out of here. I don't like it here. Why would anyone want to be here? And now I'm away. I'm like, I miss England, I miss Paris, I miss it all. I mean, I didn't really go to Paris a lot, but I've, I've been there actually quite a few times. I wanna be in Europe, I wanna be in England. Ugh. Yeah, grass is always green on the other side, I guess. But I think I'm gonna probably end up binge watching the videos the rest of the night and kind of living my Paris dreams through them. That's the vibe. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Good morning guys. Um, I think I was gonna end the vlog yesterday, but decided I'll bring you guys along a little bit of my day right now because I'm about to meet up with Anna and we're gonna go on a hike. 
Oh, also I just got back from my hot Pilates, hence why I'm a hot sweaty mess. Oh, I absolutely killed it. Hot Pilates, I always forget how hard it is. I have about 10 minutes before I'm about to leave and I'm gonna empty my dishwasher. I'm not super hungry. I'm still trying to do my intuitive eating, especially as I just did a whole hot Pilates class, about to go work out. By the way, the time is uh, 10 37 not super hungry yet because at like 10 p.m last night i ate the rest of my chicken salad however i do think if i don't have anything in my system and i do my hike i don't think i'll feel so great later so i might just at least have some grapefruit orange juice or like a coffee or something okay, so for my coffee i'm gonna use one of my rave coffee bags i love rave coffee it's this coffee shop in the cotswolds in england and they are the best oh so easy i just Pour in my water, let that steep. I'm gonna add a splash of vanilla extract, a little bit of monk fruit sugar, a little dash of cinnamon, and then my raw milk. Maybe a tablespoon or two. Taste test. Mm. I saved a little bit of the grapefruit orange juice mix that I didn't drink all of yesterday. It's delicious. Oh my God, guys, I'm at Anna's and she has chickens. So she's giving me some of her eggs. This is the sweetest thing. I'm so excited. It's as like healthy and organic as it gets. Look, they still even have the shit on them. <laughs> so we're heading back because we already have seen like a couple snakes. They're like small and they're like off the trail. So we're like, okay, creeped out, freaked out, but that's fine. We're, like walking and Anna, I didn't see it of us. Anna's like, look at this huge, thick, fat, snake it's literally like, like this big like it literally i think it was like a rattlesnake i've never ever seen a snake that big before we're just we turned around we're like fuck this shit we're out what's up guys just got back from my walk with anna i didn't vlog us walking around beverly hills which we ended up going to because that hiking trail that we literally saw the fattest snake that was the scariest thing yeah but we walked around beverly hills i didn't vlog because we were just so deep in conversation and oh my god i literally love anna so much she is just such a great friend like oh my mom's facetiming me hi hello what have you been doing today um i'm vlogging right now say hi hi i'm making some tea apple cinnamon elderflower tea sounds oh, nice. interesting yeah and it's delicious i went on a hike with anna this morning you went to yeah well i went to hot pilates and then i'm on a hike and now i just got back home ran myself a bath and i'm making myself some tea hey. i know i slayed the day um hold on mom one second let me just quickly end my vlog so that's Bye, what's going on who does she think she is you know so i'm gonna go get in the bath i'm probably gonna edit for the rest of the day but yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this vlog i feel amazing i really i'm so truly happy i feel like i'm just getting everything together i love seeing anna she always like just makes me feel so happy i love you guys bye